Yo, what is good everyone? So today, we're gonna be turning my seaplane into a VTOL. Okay, so if we want to turn this thing into a VTOL seaplane, we got some changes to do. So first of all, we're gonna start throwing some of these dud engines on the side. We're gonna say this is for lights right here. Yep, these are lights, guys. These are 100% just placements for our headlights. Yep. I honestly feel like the, these two are not enough. They are probably not enough, but we're about to find out. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on now. Little much, aren't you? Okay, let's let's drop this to like fifty five and see. Okay, that seems about right, but I mean, okay, now it can take off really easily. I think one more, one more should do it. Just one more. 7.5, okay. I think this is it. Time to take off with a seaplane VTOL. One of a kind. Definitely needs RCS. Now this should be the perfect. Okay, let's test the RCS. Okay, it works. Yep, beautiful. Okay. First flight of the seaplane VTOL in three, two, one. Let's see if this thing can land in the water still. So cut the throttle. Brakes on. Okay, we, we need to land like butter oh, 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 oh. there we go that was absolutely beautiful okay I wanna I wanna take off during the night because I want to see all the lights go okay I think we're good Okay, VTOL takeoff from the water. Let's let's see it happen. And we are off. Okay, can we land back in the water? Now I read somewhere that I can make a toggle window. How do I make a toggle window? Because I want to be able to turn off and turn on these things like individually. There has to be a way. Enable. 
Disable same vessel interaction. Disable same vessel interaction. Same vessel interaction. Auto independent of auto Let's disable same vessel interaction. Auto independent of auto Okay, so. The action just kills them, okay. Let's see if that one works. Nope, still too heavy, okay. Okay, let's see. SES, RCS, and. Okay, that that was it. Just a quick landing to see. Okay, a little a little a little rough, but basically showed what it can do. Okay. I think we got ourselves. A pretty sweet creation. Man, this thing flies so well. Let's do a quick test. Now, switch engines. Okay. Pitch up to bleed air. This is insane to look at, this angle right here. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that word. <gasps> what? This is insane. That is bleeding oxidizer for, for some reason. I have no idea why. Oh.
that was a very successful water landing. Okay, now time to do a slight takeoff. Pretty easy, pretty easy. Boom. Boom. But yes, we have done it. We have made a VTOL seaplane. Let me just do a quick walk around on this beast. Wait, actually. There we go. That's better. Let's shut off the engines first. Do a quick walk around, uh, around this beast, this beast of a plane. Boom, boom! Holy cow, this thing is massive, dude. Wow, okay, this thing is massive. This thing is huge. A seaplane VTOL. Man. What a beautiful thing, guys. I'd say that's a pretty good uh, goal if you ask me. A quick backflip to lead as much speed as possible. Bro, this is just this is just crazy to see. It's just, it's just floating. Actually, okay, we can make it float. We can make it float. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Now it's just hovering. Like your typical seaplane, it's just hovering. And now we're just gonna take off. Overall, I would say that I'm very proud of this design. So that's, I'm just going to call it for this video. This took me about an hour and 15 minutes to do. So, yeah.